we get to our candlelight and our cookies. The Christmas season is usually bringing the old time greetings and tidings. It gives us a throwback picture of the Mormon Rockwell pictures of old Victorian Christmases where gentlemen open the doors for the ladies and take off their hats. Christmas for believers should be about thinking of the birth of Jesus Christ, thanking the Lord for everything that he's done for us. And if we have that true blessing, that true thankful spirit for this season, it will show in a glow of our face on the one we serve. The Merry Christmas, have a wonderful day. The smile that you give to a stranger are becoming extinct in our society of hustle and bustle. But I really think believers should bring it back. Amen. 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 I think we should be so appreciative of what the Lord did for us that we should show everybody during this Christmas season why we are different, why we celebrate the season of the birth of our Savior. Think back, if you would, was there ever a time when you found yourself in a situation where you were an outsider in a social gathering? For some of us, it might take a little while. For others, maybe it was just last week. You were with somebody else's family. Your parents had moved and you just entered a new school, starting all over trying to make friends. You just started a new job and you're not quite sure what you're supposed to do so you're asking an abundant amount of questions. Feeling a little awkward because you seem to be bothering the person that you're asking. That feeling is not a very nice and easy feeling, is it? How did it feel to be taken in and accept it. When someone from the other family who saw you there in the corner grabbed you and made you part of the festivities. Or when all your friends at school come around you and, and they accepted you. Or the workers at break time of the new job told you to hang in there. No one was born to do this job. You got to learn it. And if you need anything, you come see me. That friendly face, that smile, or that security that they gave you. It was greatly appreciated, wasn't it? Yes. It made you feel that that person was a little different. Maybe kind. And you always wonder what made them that way because there are so many in this world that are willing to put you down or ignore you. And that person tells you, you know what, I belong to Jesus Christ. And I want to emulate my Savior. Nowhere in Scripture did our Savior ever turn anyone away. Amen. Amen. The book of Romans reveals a God whose heart is always seeking to enfold outsiders into his family, to extend the world. Even his covenant with Israel was intended to reveal who God was to the whole world. Romans 15, 7 through 13. Therefore, accept one another, just as the Messiah also accepted you to the glory of God. For I say that the Messiah became a servant to the circumcised on behalf of God's truth to confirm the promises to the Father, and so that the Gentiles may glorify God for his mercy, as it is written. Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles, and I will sing psalms to your name. Again it says, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people, and again, praise the Lord. All you Gentiles, all the people should praise him. And again Isaiah says, the root of Jesse will appear. 
the one who rises to rule the Gentiles, the Gentiles will hope in him. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is meant for that hope that lives with inside of you, the Holy Spirit. The faith that you have. And the motivation to serve your God, to emulate Him, to glorify the Father through your actions. Would overflow out of you so that other peoples may see it. One of the greatest gifts that you can give is friendship. One of the greatest gifts that you can give your Lord in worship and in praise is to emulate who He is during this time of season. But it's not enough, really, just to do it during this time of season, is it? Even those that make an effort to do so, they usually pack it up with their Christmas paper, and ribbons and trees and bows. And they put it underneath the stairs for another year until they break it out once again and we become that person again. One too busy to care. One too busy to slow down and show people that they are accepted in love. But we have a job to do as believers in Jesus Christ. Our worship belongs to the Lord and we are to emulate Him in every way possible. This job is throughout the year. So the next time someone seems to be having a bad day, give them a smile. Hold the door open for someone else. Let someone go ahead of you in line. Amen, amen. Don't blow really hard when they cut you off. Don't get upset when the fast food line makes you pull over. Show them, here we go. Show them all whom you belong to this year. Because of him, anyone can be welcomed into the life and love of God. Overflow with confident hope and welcome others as God has welcomed us. For this real reason, for the season, show your kindness to all throughout the year. In a minute, we're going to gather around and we're going to do our candlelight service. Trying to make a big enough circle going through the middle section of pews. And I'm going to ask you when we're all said and done and ready, I'm going to ask you to think of something that was a real blessing to you this year. Something only God could have ever created and done for you. And then I'm going to ask you, what in the new year can you do to improve your walk? as a believer in Jesus Christ. All right, if you would, I'll just come around for a circle. Hold on. We're going to thread through. There you go. So we may have to go back one more pew. I don't know if you have a lot of folks here. Got new candles this year. Someone fill out that middle section right there. Go through the pews right there. There you go. Go through there. There you go. That's it. It's like musical chairs with pews.
What? Okay. Raise your hand if you ain't got one. <laughs> we doing okay? Yes. Yes. Doing good? Everybody age appropriate that can have fire? No. I'll take yours. Sorry, I already got it. Yeah, these are new candles, so give them just a few minutes as you start to pass the light around. That to give it a second to take hold. All right, as we light it, it'll be your turn to say what you're thankful for this past year that God did for you and what you plan on doing next year. Good. Not good. Um, yeah, if you're not comfortable with it, just pass on by and light the next candle. Okay, as we get halfway around, I'll go shut the lights off. <laughs> what I'm thankful for in the blessing is our oldest son got married this year, and uh, they are attending church. And we've been able to be a good influence on him to have a godly household. And I guess what I want to improve on is making sure that I do what I say and I say what I do when it comes to serving the Lord and to be an example to my youngest son who is still at home now and to be a stronger man in the Lord for my wife, which is most important. I'm going to say Missy. Missy. Missy came to our church like a year ago, a little over a year ago, and she, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I've been a Christian for 20 some years, and she makes me want to be a better one. So I'm very grateful for her. Um, 2018, less Facebook, more the book. Amen. I need to write that down. <laughs> this is the year that, uh, that I will be glad to put on my review here. Um, two things that I know that God was doing in my life, first of all, was uh, finding out that I had a bad heart valve and getting it fixed before I passed. Amen. Amen. And the second one is, my dad passed this year, and it was the faith that I have in my Lord that I'll see him again. Amen. That got me to bear through this. <clears throat> so, that was of God. And for next year, I just want to be better at listening to my Lord. Things I've had this year were my dad, his talks that he's had with me, and how it's really opened up my world and shown me what I have and what I could not have. And what I'd like to do more in 2018 is spend more time with Pastor and learn more. Blessing for me this year. Um, in the summer, my husband was in the hospital, and um, it looked like he might have had cancer. Everything was fine. Biggest blessings is seeing the uh, involvement in nursing home ministry, how much the residents enjoy hearing about the board and how much they enjoy the time that we get to spend with them. And, and the true blessing it is to me to be able to uh, to share that, knowing that um, 
they are receiving God's word despite not being out and able to move around in the public and such. In 2018, I'm looking forward to uh, that ministry of uh, growing and continuing to spread his word in, in that way and uh, welcoming a uh, uh, grandbaby into our lives as well. The greatest blessing to share with you would probably be my husband, my children, everybody here at church. And for next year, I hope you get my bed straight so I don't have so many Amen. problems. Amen. <clears throat> Yes. So it's she's truly a visionary and asset for our family. 
So that's the biggest plus. And then for 2018, I'm going to help increase our church's footprint in the community. biggest blessing this year was uh, the determination I was given to help me uh, stay on the right path and graduate college. And uh, this coming year, I'd like to find a company with sound morals and ethics to start my career. Um, yeah. uh, this year, I was really blessed by all my loved ones keeping me and check <laughs> and support me and everything. And for next year, I'd um, like to uh, be more into the whole God will provide and don't be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this year was a rough year, uh, but I guess what I'm grateful for is that right now everybody in my family is reasonably healthy, so that's a good thing. Uh, next year I'm going to uh, steal from Carrie and say to spend more time with the book. We all know how great and precious it is to have a dear, precious creator, our dear, loving father. We all know that I've had a few bad months this year. We all have been asked, I've asked the children of God, my brother and sister, to pray for me. It's something you don't forget, it's something you remember. Every, every breath you take. It's just so great to understand. And it's so beautiful to realize that we're going to have a new birthday here pretty shortly. Amen. And God is going to be, it, it, it's not, it's, it's a birthday. He ain't, he ain't coming. And how in the world we, we can't we can't forget something like that. Amen. Amen. It ain't something you forget. It's something that you give thanks for. And it's just so precious. I, I, I can't. I, I don't know how to thank God, my Father, for all. He, he was with me. He's with me every one of them hours that I was sick. I was in the hospital. I was in the nursing home. All of my brothers and sisters, the children of God was asked to remember me. I can't forget that. Amen. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank you. I know that God loves you. And I know that God is our precious loving Father. Merry, Merry Christmas and a happy, happy New Year, Father. My 
biggest blessing this, this year is uh, having God come into our marriage. Amen. And uh, if it wasn't for Him and His church, I don't think we'd be together. And uh, 2018, I want to continue my love with Jesus. Bless you. Amen. 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 projects this year and we finished them so let's hope we have many more for 2018 and everyone dedicate themselves more I belong to the BFF Bible study it's a men's group that we meet every Tuesday night and it's a blessing for me it's it gets right to the heart of the Bible. <clears throat> and we're given homework uh, that we do throughout the week. But uh, it, it really brings, uh, brings out the Bible in me, and, and it's such a blessing. And I have um, blessed with a beautiful family. listening to all of this, I, I am thankful for so many things it would take a year to talk to people about it. I'm so thankful to the Lord and for my family, and I'm so thankful for His Word. I also have been in Bible study for quite a few years now, and I have learned so much and grown, <clears throat> hopefully, more than I've backtracked. And, uh, <laughs> I just praise him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm a whosoever. And Amen. Uh, Amen. I, I'm just Amen. very thankful to him for that. I guess this year I'm uh, very thankful that I'm still gainfully employed. Amen. Uh, <laughs> you may not like my schedule. But it does allow me to provide for what's uh, most important to me, my family. So uh, thankful for all of you as well. And uh, nice to see my parents here. Uh, this year, I'm going to hopefully continue to, in the background, uh, help push the church into the 21st century with um, website and other types of videos. <laughs> very well. Um, I prayed for a very, very long time that my husband would be involved in church and come to church with us every Sunday. And he is more than answered my prayer. So I'm very thankful for that. My family, I'm so thankful that the children's ministries are taking off. You saw all of them up here. Um, we're getting some that are staying and attending every Sunday and we're growing. That's such a blessing, and so I want to get into God's more word more, and just really um, dig in deep with children's ministries for the kids. And I'm going to go silence an alarm on my phone that's about to go off, so if you'll excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> 
This year, I've had so many blessings. Uh, probably a couple of them tied for first place, but I have to uh, choose my daughter. I've been able to babysit for him. My daughter-in-law works, and my son works, goes to school, and he's just the light of my life. And uh, next year, their schedules are changing, so I'll be a little bit freer with my time to be able to do more church. Still see. Um, one of my blessings this year will be my son. <coughs> Big blessing as a pastor is much, much better. Amen. And for next year, I really would like to learn or able to remember what I'm taught. I don't know. <laughs> There's so many blessings for this year. The biggest one, I think, is just another grandchild. Uh, there's been such a blessing to our family, all my, uh, my grandchildren. And we just found out that um, God just gave us another grandchild for next year. 
And I want to thank God for <coughs> continuing to transition um, my ministries to help me learn and grow in new ways. Uh, I look forward to seeing what he has forward uh, in 2018 in the ministries here at Shining Light as well as Under the Blood. I think he has amazing things coming for all of us in this church. I just want to thank you for all of you. You will join me in one round of silence. Silent night, holy night, all is come, all is right, round of virgin mother and child. Oh, my God.